not, I can't see the head of the shaft. It's really quite clear. I mean, I, don't, I hope you can see it in the camera here. But it's brown, gray, brown, so it doesn't matter if this was the head or the tail. It's still that there is gray in the middle. And so it is true. If we were slowing the aging a process, or the slowing the aging process, that we are able to turn your hair color back to whatever it originally was. All right, so now as you have seen from these strands of hair that I have pulled from my head, how we can reverse, yes, because that's what happens, reverse the process of aging and even extend our life by how many years? I don't know, but mankind does have the possibility of living 120 years. And so what was the key? I mentioned it to you very briefly and you probably didn't even hear it in the introduction. What was the key? What did I do to get this hair to go from gray to brown? What happened? I ate the essential fatty acids and I ate them in a quantity that we could reach a threshold. You need to understand what thresholds are. Thresholds are getting something to a point where a chemical reaction can occur. Because you might be saying to yourself right now, she just said the word fats, fatty acids is what she said. So if I'm eating fats, then I do get fats in my life. We all get some fat in our life. So why isn't my hair turning back to its original hair color? Why is it still gray? Because you're not at threshold. Threshold is a point where we get the reaction to occur. I want you to think about if I was pushing, trying to push a heavy table across the room and I apply a force to the table. The table may not move until I apply enough force. So imagine me pushing this table and I'm applying the force it doesn't move. I apply more force, it still doesn't move, and finally I give it everything I have, and it moves. When I apply enough force to make the table move, I have reached a threshold. So the reaction happens. In chemistry, it is the same. You have to have enough fatty acids in your diet to reach the thresholds to begin to reverse the aging process and to slow the aging process. Now, Let's talk about fats a little bit. Fats have been villainized. That's the only word I can think of. They've been villainized. We have so degraded and, and made fats into a bad thing that our public in the United States for decades have avoided, shied away from eating fatty acids. And I want to say now, a fatty acid is a fat. Whenever I say fatty acids, know that I mean fats. We have shied away from eating fats. We know that butter is bad. We know that all fats are bad. We're looking for low-fat foods, no-fat foods. Don't do that. Don't do that because fats are essential to life. It is out of fats that we make hormones. It is out of fats that our skin is composed. It is out of fats that we have growth regulation. It is out of fats that we are able to make cell walls.